Hey guys, Bring here back with another video, and in today's video we're doing something a little bit different because we can't ride today. All the trails are icy and we just can't ride. So today's video, we're going to be going over all the stuff that I ride with. So ranging on this end to stuff that I literally never ride without, to the stuff that I ride the least with over here on this end. Okay, so to start off, we're going to be going over here on this end. First thing is my helmet. Okay, my half shell here. This is a giant live MIPS half helmet in a large medium size. It's medium large, that's what it's called. Um, so this is my only and go-to half shell. When I'm just going for a ride, this is the helmet that I grab. It's in this nice blue color. I really love this color. It's also got a detachable visor. So if you crash and, you, and the crash wasn't bad enough or you didn't hit your head, uh, enough to you know replace the helmet the visor comes off and you can get a new one See you only have to get a new visor if uh, the brackets here on the side break because you can just pull this off Okay on both sides just like that and uh, you can have like a road biking helmet or uh, clip this right back in And uh, it's slightly adjustable not very adjustable, but it's adjustable enough and then on the back here. It's also uh, got this little spot right there and you can buy this giant uh light blinking light that goes on the back there for uh riding at night on the road for like safety or whatever uh i never ride on the road so i haven't bought that yet or never ride on the road at night it's also got this cool pattern on the back i like it one of the big selling points of this helmet for me is that it has mips so it's multi-directional impact protection system multi multi-direction uh, it's like multi-directional impact protection system that's what it is it basically prevents concussions because it's like a second little layer in between the helmet uh so yeah that's a big selling point for any of the helmets that i buy i will never ride a helmet without mips again so yeah i will literally never ride a bike without a helmet that is some of you know that about me i would literally rather ride a bike without shoes than i would without a helmet on I don't know, that's just me. Uh, so yeah, that's my half shell. Uh, I recommend it. I think it's about 50 bucks. I also have a full review video to this on my channel. So up next, uh, the thing that I will grab like pretty much always, I'll always grab my helmet. Either it's this one or this one, but I'll always grab that helmet. Thing that I also like always grab no matter what uh, are my 510 free riders. These are not free rider pros or anything. They're just the standard free riders. I got these on sale for about 40 bucks. Awesome deal off Amazon. I would highly recommend getting a pair of specific mountain biking shoes. I used to ride in Vans. I thought that was fine. They honestly worked amazing. Then I tried these and uh, I will never go back. So they have this cool design on the bottom. Uh, and uh, it's different from Vans because Vans have an indent in them or like a. They have like holes on the bottom. These stick out a little bit so that just helps with gripping the pedal um, because vans are designed for skateboarding or skating or whatever so yeah i would highly recommend picking up a pair of 510 free riders mine used to be gray uh they're a bit muddy right now they have red on the inside there love these they're also super supportive uh compared to vans i also have a full review video of these on my channel okay up next this is a super common item uh, there's so many people that just use gloves. I bought these a while ago for about 20 bucks off walmart.com. Uh, they're kind of, like, terrible. But, uh, you know, they do the job. I'm definitely getting a new pair soon. Because these things are just littered with holes and tears. And, yeah, you can just get a good look. That's the, that's the good one out of the two. Uh, there's some off-brand pair of gloves. They are mountain bike specific gloves But yeah, you can just see all the tears there and the velcro is wearing off now uh, So yeah, they used to have this whole pattern on the whole surface of the glove this little pattern here on the whole surface of the glove uh, It's worn away over time. So yeah, definitely getting new gloves soon because those are really crusty uh, Those are my definitely my last season on those, but yeah, I use those quite a bit as well Okay, next up are my riding glasses these are just random glasses they're not riding glasses uh, these are the blenders phantom boss color or whatever so I love these 
they do fog up if I have a half shell on for some reason, not with a full face, I don't know why, but they only fog up if I have them at like a certain angle on my face, and uh, if I'm just sitting still. So that's the only thing that I don't like about these, because probably they're not mountain biking specific, but uh, yeah, so I wear these, uh, I don't wear them to look cool, I wear them to keep the, the sun and the mud specifically, and little rocks and water out of my eyes, because it's not fun when you get mud or water or anything in your eyes while you're riding, especially going fast. So yeah, I would highly recommend just picking up a cheap pair of glasses or whatever. These were about 50, 60 bucks. Well worth it in my opinion. So uh, yeah, those are my glasses. I wear those quite a bit too. And I wear my glasses pretty much just as much as I wear my knee pads. So these are POC VPD Air knee pads, okay. Uh, they're just whatever knee pads. I think they cost about $80. I have them in the large size. So, uh, yeah, they're just they're decent. They're not the best out there by any means. And they're a little overpriced, but they do they definitely do the job. And uh, they protect you from pedal strikes. You can see there's a couple tiny little holes on there from where my pedals come up and hit my knee or whatever. But they, they do work really well. My knees, ever since I got these, have been pretty much clean of scrapes and stuff. So yeah, uh, I do recommend getting a pair of knee pads. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this pair, but there's any pair of knee pads works better than none, obviously. Uh, these don't cut off as much circulation as some people say. I don't know why that is. I don't really mind them. I don't even notice them that much while I'm riding. So yeah, knee pads. Okay, up next is something you guys definitely see me wear quite a bit on the channel and this is my full face helmet uh, I had a really gnarly crash on June 21st 2022 uh, and uh, I did not have a full face on I had a different helmet on different from this one it was cheap didn't have a uh, didn't have MEPS on it or anything so after that crash I got this helmet thank you Alex for gifting me this if you're watching this uh, and yeah, so I also after that crash got a full face helmet. It's my first full face helmet and I like it a lot It's a demon podium helmet. Uh, it's got MIPS, which is a There's a sticker Which like I said earlier is a big selling point for me for my helmets You may notice some white stuff there and zip ties that are just falling out uh, I had my I have my GoPro mount on my chin or whatever so, yeah, that didn't work out too well because I broke the old one. So I did a new one, didn't work out so well, super glued it, zip tied, uh, and it looks terrible, and it broke off again. So you have to redo that again. So I have one mount there and one mount there. And, yeah, this the helmet's good. It's in a large size. I might have said that already. Uh, pretty comfortable. It's got lots of air vents or whatever. It really doesn't get too hot. Again, I don't know if it's just me, but I do not mind wearing a full face. I think... Uh, what you get out of it is well worth the uncomfortableness that you might get from it. Uh, so yeah, uh, this costs around $130, I think. I think I got it on sale for like $90. Uh, good helmet, $150 or something, $130. So yeah, good helmet, uh, definitely for the price. I'll probably end up getting something nicer somewhat soon. Same with this helmet. I'll probably get a, a gyro, whatever it is. That goes just down the side some people don't like that look but i'm probably gonna end up getting that soon i'll probably end up getting a pop full face too but yeah pretty good helmet and the only thing that i don't like about it is it doesn't have a little adjuster knob on the back but yeah otherwise good helmet there and so the last item on my list here uh, i don't wear that much i do wear it but not that much and this is my riding jersey i only have one riding jersey at the moment i'm definitely getting more soon but i just I wear it, but not as much as anything else here. So it's a fox riding jersey here. Got a little fox logo there. I would definitely recommend getting a rising a riding jersey because they're just way more comfortable than any other normal cheese t-shirt. T t so uh, yeah, it basically feels like there's nothing there and it wicks uh, sweat really well, especially in those summer months. I definitely wear this the most in the summer. So yeah, that's my riding jersey. Um, I would recommend getting one. They're kind of expensive. That one I think costs like 50 bucks or something for what it is. They're pretty expensive. 
Okay guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some good information out of this video and that you just got a little closer look at what I wear when I'm on the bike. If you want any of the stuff shown in today's video, I'll put links in the video description for you to go check it out. I was not told to say anything about these products. I think they're all well built, well made, and just good quality products that I think you would all enjoy. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.